Thank you for your patience. Please continue to hold as your call is being held in sequence. Today, we got a big day today. Now, two things, one of which got a package the other day. Really excited to open this up. PS Max. However, though, today we're gonna be doing some things that uh, don't involve G35, but do involve a new vehicle. We're gonna go look him today. May end up closing on it. Come on, this guy's towing his matrix. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe it broke down, I don't know. It has no doors on the other side. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that'll do it. Uh, we're about, I think, what, 15 minutes out? We're on our way to a dealership. Maybe bring it home a new ride today. Woo! Um, not mainly for me, it's gonna be your daily, and it's been your dream car for a long time. Um, I'm excited, it's something new. It's probably, I don't think anyone's gonna guess it. But, uh, I've going, said it before. Have you said, oh yeah, you have actually. This guy, man, trying to get in already? Look at this guy. Yeah, you will. Um, so we're about 15 minutes out. We have yet to see it. We saw it pop up online at Kijiji. Here we go out there and take a look at it. It's got the right color. The package is exactly what we want. It's pretty much everything that we want. We're giving it away. Yeah, right? I mean, I will say the kilometers are a little high for what I wanted at least, but for the price to kilometer ratio, I think it's fair. I, I, I personally think it's a good deal. Uh, so we're gonna go take a look at it and see if we like it. However though, if we get the new car, this is now gonna allow me to take apart this car and work on it and not have to worry about putting it back together and be ready to drive for the next day. So it's gonna give me an opportunity to do bigger things on the car. Uh, I just got a brand new set of parts in. I don't think I should, no, I didn't show them yet, but um, I'm gonna be installing those pretty soon. It's a big job, so I'm glad that we're getting something else that I can now drive and uh, we'll see what happens, but Ninety-seven thousand K on it. Whoever owned this, though, they they drove the shit out of it. We got dirt all over it. Um, there's dirt under it. As you can see, it's a bunch of grime and dirt. 2015 Jeep Rubicon Wrangler, max tow package, 3,500 pounds. Uh, minimal rust. A little bit of dirt, like I said, you can see like in here. Goddamn nest, I don't know what that is, but I don't know, I feel like it should be a little bit cleaner for what we're paying for it. Really spacey, I, I love the wheel, the wheel feels really good. Kind of reminds me of like a BMW wheel almost. Got a Bluetooth package, uh, this whole roof pops right off. Leather, I'm gonna check out the Carfax, see what's going on with that and just make sure everything's good, that's about it. You can never be too careful when buying a used vehicle, you just never know, right? You never know who's owned it before. Look at her, she's rubbing off shit already. It's not your vehicle yet! <laughs> <laughs> but, it's pretty damn close. I love the stitching in the seats, it's one of my favorite things about the Rubicon. We're in a 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon right now, and we may be earning ourselves a Jeep hat very soon. Or, uh, I have one. We also have heated mirrors. Yeah, it thaws them out in the winter time. Damn! That's pretty clean. So I don't have to get out and scrape them. How do I look driving this thing? Not as cool as I do. Cheap guy. And that's it, I'm selling everything. We're gonna lift the G. We're lifting this. Actually, I don't know. I think we're gonna do maybe like a three inch lift kit on this thing maybe. Nothing crazy, just a little bit aggressive. Nice tire and rim package on it. I think it'll be nice. She's a slug though, holy Jesus. What do you mean? It's a slug, that's what I mean. No, it's not. You don't think so? No. Have we hit the roundabout yet? No. So for anybody that didn't know, 2015s, they changed their speaker placement to this. That was the only advancement that they did apparently in 2015. I do have that full nav package though, which is pretty dope. I don't think we've ever had a car that had the nav package before.
they're trying to sell a vehicle and the thing's not perfect like there's dirt underneath of it like i showed you guys so it's just it's weird how they didn't make sure it was like perfect you know what i mean you're trying to sell this thing you're trying to make it appealing and it looks like it just got four-wheeled like yesterday and there's still dirt and everything on it so i, I, I don't know did we go the wrong direction did we pulled out of the street did you turn the wrong way i'm pretty sure i turned the right way yeah, no, no, like when we came back, I turned the right way, but like... So we only went straight? That's what I thought, but I didn't straight. We got it. Somewhere we're 11 minutes out. So I should be, this road coming up, should be a, uh, right on Haggy Boulevard. Ooh, look at that guy's bumper. Get dummy. Zoom in, zoom in. Oh, U-turn, illegal! Not unless it's posted. Legal! It's, it literally says permitted. Oh, legal then, okay. illegal. Look at that sign. Where is it? It says permitted. Oh, it does too. Your U-turn's permitted. Sorry everybody, I'm glad I didn't yell at the car or anything. Over the detailing comes out fresh, and there's no dirt in the engine, and we're good. So. Cheers to a new Jeep, baby. Cheers, 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon! Woo. So Canadian. Hey! Everywhere that we have been, cannot help just feeling so alive now. Fresh cut. Miss Finn, don't be dan- Don't be shy. Come here. Come here. Let's see your haircut. Come here, let me see. Oh, you look good. Look at you. We can see you now. How you doing? And you go, woo woo. Good girl, okay. So, we're gonna go outside quickly. Uh, long story short, picked up a new vehicle, you guys saw that. Not happy right now, not happy at all. Um, we just got the car delivered here for a $70 fee. Now mind you, I have bought and paid this vehicle. This is, this is mine, there's no payments, there's nothing. So I was expecting some pretty good service. And unfortunately, I got the complete opposite of that. So, we're gonna quickly go ahead do a quick little walk around of this thing. All right, let's quickly go on outside here, Miss Finn. I know, you gotta stay. I know, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Breaks my heart every time. So, this is it. 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Now, from the first glance, it looks great, but when I went to go look at it, though, I showed you guys this before, but extremely dirty everywhere. I mean, this apparently was detailed. There's dirt everywhere on the front. There's dirt all over the sides. Um, this was one of the main things that I did not like about it was this scratch right here and for um, now for the most part It looks good, right? It looks clean, but remember though. This was supposed to be just detailed We have grass. I mean I get it's a Jeep. I understand they went off-roading with this thing But the fact that it barely looks like anything's been done to it All right, they didn't even take the time to clean the engine bay for me like this. and then say to someone that you're gonna actually clean it and then not clean it, right? That sucks Definitely gonna need to get this rust proofed ASAP. 2015, mind you. Got a little bit of wear. Definitely gonna have to bring this thing back to life. So as you can probably tell, I'm not too happy. Called the dealership. Told them uh, I wasn't happy at all about it. Look at this shit. And uh, he said that he was sorry. Now what they told me was that they were gonna offer a free detailing at their cost so at least they're gonna clean it up for me but it just it sucks thankfully Riley's not home yet she's not home for about another three hours four hours maybe so I'm gonna have to go ahead and clean this up myself get this ready to show her and uh, go from there but 30-day warranty with this thing so if anything goes wrong with it or any issues take it back to the dealership and they will take care of it or uh, at least I hope they will anyway now what's nice about this though, is that the interior is clean. Yes, the interior is great, but it's just, uh, you know, it's the exterior of the car that really counts, but really nice, really happy for this, excited. Got the sway bar and the axle lock buttons right there as well. This is gonna be fun in the snow, off-roading. It's gonna be a lot of fun, I'm excited for it. Hopefully you guys are as well too. Lots of things to come. And uh, we're gonna start ordering parts actually. Parts should be here today, so. You know, a new family car, what have you, so. We're gonna have some fun with it. It definitely uh, needs a little bit of TLC for sure. I'm really praying though that this fits in the garage. It looks like it may. We're gonna check that out. We're gonna see if it fits in the garage. I'm gonna pressure wash this thing, see what I can do to it, but that's it though. Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, 
Dirty as shit, right? Dirty as shit. It's okay though. It's a Jeep. It's not okay though when I'm buying it off the lawn and it's dirty, right? That's all I'm saying. Miss Finn! Oh! You're coming to see me already? It's been two minutes, girl. It's been two minutes. I know. You're dying to get in the Jeep too. I know. We got a doggy car cover coming for you though, so don't worry about that. However though, we need to open this, man. We need to open it now. I'm taking off my shoes. Come on, Miss Finn. Let's go. We got car parts. They're heavy as shit. Look how heavy this thing is. All right. Oh, yeah, Finn. What is that? What is that? Hey, we're gonna... Oh, shit. That took a hard left turn right there. What the hell was that, man? There we go. Okay. I've been waiting for a bit to order these. I got a notification from a few friends. Uh, shout out Yuan, Anthony, right? Just came back in stock at uh, PBM. Oh, 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 man, all right, hold on now. Second piece there. But, PBM angle kit, I uh, paid about, I think it was, what, like nine something shipped to the door? So now with this kit, I was expecting to pay at least maybe like 150 bucks at the door. I didn't pay anything off, which I was very surprised about coming from California, being, you know, big metal parts, but they didn't charge me, so I didn't ask any questions. But we have an angle kit, we have the Jeep, which means I can now drive the Jeep Liberty, which was Riley's other vehicle, and now I can start taking apart the G35 and not have to worry about getting it back together ASAP. So. Um, I'm excited for this. I definitely am. We're gonna start really making some moves on the G and uh, get a track ready and hopefully get out there and start sliding, right? That's the plan, right? That's the long-term plan. So we'll see what happens. Miss Finn, you are dripping water all over this floor. Look at this trail. Yeah, that's you. You know, I don't know. I mean, am I being, am I being weird about this whole car thing? I mean, I would just feel though that if I bought a brand new vehicle, well not a brand, it's 2015, I get that, but if you're buying a brand new vehicle, right, brand quote unquote used vehicle, um, you know, you'd expect it to be in perfect shape, right? I mean, no dirt, easiest thing to clean on there to make it look good, make the customer happy, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know, Miss Finn, I just, I just want everything to work. 